PT or Pastor Tim Miller. Why do you want me to ask for? Uh, why? Uh, as far as what? As far as why do I want to? Okay, what do I want to talk about? Uh, or why do I want to talk about God? Or why? Do, or what do I want to talk about? Either one. Okay, all right. Well, um, I love you. Let me back up to when I was born. I was born in Africa. You asked if I would talk a little bit about myself, right? So I was born in Africa, and I lived in Africa for about 13 years. During that time, I lived in a city, mostly a city called Lusaka, in the country of Zambia. Also lived in Blantyre in Malawi, the country of Malawi in Africa. And during those 13 years, I came to know a lot of good people. My friends were all African people. But then came a time when I had to move to the United States. My dad and mom stayed in Africa, and I came over here by plane, of course, and then began school actually here in Watertown High School, four years, and then after that four years of college in training to become a pastor, although at uh, that time during my college years I wasn't sure I wanted to be a pastor. It was really after my college years when I stayed a year out of school and married my wife, who is now my wife, that I realized I wanted to become a pastor. So why do I want to talk about the Word of God? Well, I came to realize how important the Word of God is for me and my family and also for the world. It is that which reveals to us God's love for us and for the world how he gave his son so that through him and his death on the cross we would be forgiven and have eternal life. And I wanted to do that, I wanted to share that on a full-time basis. So I studied four more years after college to become a pastor and graduated from Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary and became a pastor at a church in Waupon, Wisconsin and I remained there as pastor for 15 years. After that, I went to a church in Medford, Wisconsin, and I was the pastor of Emanuel Lutheran for five more years, and then I was called to be the pastor director of The Rock, which I've been here now for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Al, Rock. <laughs> How did I hear about The Rock? I heard about The Rock when somebody called me on a telephone, and I'm trying to remember who it was, and they said, we're calling you to be the pastor and director of The Rock, and I knew nothing about The Rock at that time, and then they explained it to me that it was a youth center that they wanted to start up in Watertown that hadn't begun yet. There was no building, no nothing and they wanted me to go to get to work and get one going, a youth center going, a Christian youth center. And I thought about it for about a month and then called back. And I remember now it was Mr. Jerry Castens, who uh, was the staff minister of Trinity Lutheran Church. And he's the one who called me and I called him back and I said, I, I, I'm going to come and be the pastor director full-time of the Rock Youth Center. So that's how I heard about it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Al, <laughs> I'm all, uh, I'm. How did I think about it as far as getting it going? <laughs> okay, so we have a talk time at The Rock. Every single night The Rock is open on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. It's at 6 o'clock. On Friday it's at 9 o'clock. And it was important to me and to the people who pay for The Rock and got The Rock going as it is under the supervision of four churches in town, St. John, St. Mark, St. Luke's, and Trinity Lutheran churches, that we share the Word of God. 
that we not force it onto people, but that we have an opportunity to teach them, and that then developed uh, a talk time, Bible talk time, where it's a half hour, and I figured that it shouldn't be more than that because then you begin to lose uh, the attention of the teens. However, it usually goes more than 30 minutes, probably uh, 35, okay. 40, okay. sometimes. And uh, like today, it went longer because they were very interested in the subject and what God had to say about helping others and loving our neighbor as ourselves. But the format, I decided it had to be based on God's word, so we needed to have Bible passages. And then many people like to sing, so I wanted to make sure that it had singing part of talk time. And then also I wanted to be able to teach the teens how to apply or <laughs> make it mean something in their everyday lives. And then I have a part in the Bible talk time where we show them what it means for their everyday lives. How do how did we get the money? For this building. This building that we're in right now is located at 213 North 3rd Street in Watertown and we own this building. Before we didn't own our own building, now we do. And we don't have to be afraid of somebody telling us that we have to leave because we own it, we run it. And like how did we, we yeah, like the other one, that's right, uh, the first one. How did we get a hold of this building? Well, a search party, if you will, went out looking into Watertown for a place that would be a good location for the rock. Uh, we, I, I walk too. <laughs> yep, yep, you uh, walked too. And uh, we were told we would soon have to leave the building we were at. We didn't own it. And uh, it was, we were kind of under the gun to get out. And so we found a temporary location at St. Mark's for almost a year in their parish hall basement. And during that time, we searched. And we found a number of places, but they weren't good. And then this place came up for sale. The owner ran a air conditioning and furnace business and was looking for more room. So it ended up where he did sell it to us and we had to remodel it into what we have now, which was done by many, many, many volunteers and a lot of volunteer time and the teams were involved in that volunteering as well and money was given so that it could be remodeled and uh, in fact materials, many materials were also donated. So that's how we came about then with the building we have today, which would cost probably about 300,000, but we paid a little more than 200,000 for it. What is the volunteer program? We have a three-tiered volunteer program, three levels. First level would be junior volunteers. They would be the high schoolers that are trained. We find out who would be good, a good volunteer, and we ask them, and then we train them. We sit down and we go through a sheet of their responsibilities, and then we put them into practice, having the person practice those uh, responsibilities. And if the person does a good job, they'll be accepted into the junior volunteer program, like Brandon did, that's correct. And then once they reach the age of 18, they need to train and become an older junior volunteer. Otherwise, they're not allowed at The Rock, only for half an hour a week, but if they, once a week. But if they have trained and be, been approved to be an older junior volunteer, then they can come here and Brandon became a volunteer. That's for 18 through 20 years old. We have a list of responsibilities for them. Then the third tier would be adults who are 21 and older, and we have a, a t two sheets of responsibilities for them. It gets into more detail. It's more strict uh, because, of course, now we're dealing with uh, older people Hello. mixing with younger ones, and they have to be very responsible. Uh, and so background checks are done for adult volunteers. People can uh, then train. 
and once they're approved, they become an adult volunteer. That's the training program of our volunteer program. Thank you.